image from Beckett. In that instant, there was a sea far off, as bright as lettuce, a northern landscape, and a huddle of houses along the shore. Also, I think, a white flicker of gulls, and washing hung to dry. The poignancy of those backyards, and the grave digger putting aside his forceps, then the hard boards, and darkness once again. But in that instant I was struck by the sweetness and light, the sweetness and light, imagining what grave cities, what lasting monuments, given the time. They will have buried our great-grandchildren and theirs beside us by now, with a subliminal bat squeak of reflex lamentation. Our knuckle bones litter the rich earth, changing second by second to civilizations. It was good while it lasted, and if it only lasted the biblical span required to drop six feet through a glitter of wintry light, there is no one to blame. Still, I am haunted by that landscape the soft rush of its winds, the uprightness of its utilities and schoolchildren, to whom in my will, this, I have left my will. I hope they have time, and light enough to read it.